Jonathan and I are alone together, everything's wonderful. But when we're around other people, I've, I've, I'm uncomfortable. I know they're staring at him and they're talking about us and it bothers me. I know it shouldn't, but it does. I mean, how big a man is shouldn't make or break a relationship. Not a word, Blanche. <laughs> Rose, you're involved in a relationship that has very special problems, and uh, only you and Jonathan can decide whether those problems are worth working out. I can appreciate what you're going through, Rose. I once went through a very similar situation myself. You once dated a little person? Oh, no, 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 no. No, what I was referring to was a relationship I had in high school with a young man named Benjamin. Now, you have to understand that in those days in the South, a lot of things were still taboo. Certain people were not to mix. So, Benjamin and I had to meet in secret. Oh, we knew if any of the bigots in town found out about us, that'd be a terrible scandal. And then one day I had to make a decision. Benjamin invited me to our senior prom. I didn't know what to do. Should I go out with this boy I really cared for? Or should I bow to the pressures of an unjust society? So, what did you do? I walked into that gymnasium on Benjamin's arm. Heads turned, jaws dropped. Why, the room was buzzing all evening. I didn't care. I had followed my heart. And I've never regretted it. Oh. Blanche, that's a beautiful story. Oh, that must have taken real courage for both of you. And it's terrible to think that the, the two of you were almost kept apart just because Benjamin was black. <laughs> black? <laughs> Benjamin wasn't black. He was from New Jersey. <laughs> I went to my senior prom with a Yankee. A Yankee? A Yankee? That is inc incredible. And you think they made a movie about that deadbeat Gandhi. Well, there's a, a story like this that hasn't been told. <laughs>